everyone with your CIG TV News Update. I'm Donna Bush. As always, glad you could join us. First this evening, Her Excellency Governor Helen Kilpatrick pays a visit to East End and its residents. The visit to the district is part of a tour of Grand Cayman, Kim and Brack and Little Cayman by our new governor. Now, many East End residents were at the district civic center on Wednesday evening to meet Mrs. Kilpatrick. She'll visit the National Trust while on Little Cayman, the Aston Ruddy Center on the Brack, and Northside residents will also get the chance to meet Mrs. Kilpatrick. Joining the governor on her tours are district MLAs as well as residents. And over the next few weeks, each district will organize opportunities for Governor Kilpatrick to meet their residents. Well, UK Prime Minister David Cameron defends the United Kingdom's overseas territories or crown dependencies, including the Cayman Islands, saying, I do not think it is fair any longer to refer to any of these countries as tax havens. They have taken action to make sure that they are fair and open tax systems. Now, these are welcomed comments for Cayman Finance, whose CEO says these comments by the Prime Minister of the UK finally recognizes the transparency of the Cayman Islands financial services industry built over the past four decades. Now, CIG TV hopes to get a comment on this story when Financial Services Minister the Honorable Wayne Panton returns from a London business trip. Well, a local service club Rotary Sunrise continues to give back to the community. The club has been a strong supporter of the Cayman Islands Drug Rehabilitation Court, assisting with funding for the program and certificates for those who go through the program successfully. Recently, a $1,500 check was presented to a drug rehab officer for the drug court by a Rotary Sunrise member. Well, Minister of Education, the Honorable Tara Rivers, along with Ministry Councillor Winston Connolly, pay a visit to the Community Vocational Training Center in Georgetown. The center is housed on an eight-acre government-owned site. The program and center is operated by a group of volunteers who are also instructors and administrators. The CVTC was founded by Mr. Alan Moore, a Georgetown resident who is the lead electrical instructor and former chief electrical inspector for the planning department. Ms. Lorna Bush is the lead instructor for customer service and administrator, while Mr. Carl Hudson teaches air conditioning skills to the students. The joint venture is between private sector skills, uh, volunteers, and business contributors. Now, classes are held in portable units, which have interiors that are actually uh, created to replicate any work environment, for example, a hotel room, a kitchen, or a restaurant. CVTC programs run from July to November. The first program started back in July of last year, and its first graduates were recognized on November 22nd of 2012. Out of 41 graduates, 11 were immediately employed. There were 21 electrical grads, 13 graduated with air conditioning skills, while seven were trained in customer service. Future plans include getting accreditation to align with North American standards, specifically with the National Center for Construction, Education, and Research Qualifications. Now, if you'd like more information, you can send an email to caymanagency at yahoo.com for more information on how to get into CVTC. Well, don't forget you can get more information on any of today's government news or on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube page. And don't forget to tune in to Radio Cayman's Talk Today show every day from 12.15 on Talk Today Friday with host Sterling Dwayne Ebanks, Jeff White, and Jennifer Weber will discuss the Terry Fox run, while Angeline Schillenford will talk about CXC results from Cayman Academy, and Professor Livingston Smith will speak about the CXC Education Volunteer Program. All right, everybody, that ends our CIG TV News update for today. I'm Donna Bush, as always. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye for now.